Hi everyone, it's Tiffany Ann Nova with Easy Toddler Hairstyles. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to do a Dutch fishtail braid. Now this braid is pretty simple, but it's time consuming. Um, this little braid down the side took us about 15 minutes to do, so give yourself time for it, and we hope you enjoy this tutorial. Let's get started. I'm starting with hair that is damp. I've just sprayed it down with a little bit of water. And then I'm going to make a deep right side part. And then another part about three to four inches back all the way over to her ear. The rest of the hair I'm going to secure in a ponytail for now so it is out of the way. I'm also going to use a little bit of spray gel to minimize the flyaways and also make it a little bit easier to hold on to. So I'm gonna make sure it's combed out really well and take a small one inch section up at the front. From here, I'm going to take this one inch section and split it into two pieces. Now to do a regular fishtail, you're gonna cross the hair over. In a Dutch fishtail, you're gonna cross the hair under. So you're going to take a tiny piece of hair from the right, cross it under, and add it to that left strand and then we're going to repeat on the other side. We're going to take a tiny strand from that left side, cross it under, and add it to the right side. Now this braid is all about positioning and repositioning your hands as you go. So if you need to go back and watch how I do that, um, that might be a good idea. Again, we're taking a small strand from the right, crossing it over and adding it to the left. At this point, we are going to start adding hair. So I'm going to take a small section of hair and simply cross it under and also add it to the left strand. I'll just repeat this on the left side. I'll take a small section of hair, cross it under, add it to the right strand, and then I'm going to take a small piece of hair and also cross it under and add it to the left strand. Now, when you take the small strand from either side to cross under, you can add hair then, like at this point, I can add some hair and then cross all of it under to the other side. I find it's easier for me to grip if I cross that strand under and then add my hair. It's really personal preference, but I just find that this way is easier for me, and so that's why I'm showing you how to do it this way. Again, take a tiny strand from the left side, cross it over, Add it to the right, and then pick up some hair, also cross that under, and add it. Now you want to make sure that you're not adding your hair to the same strand on the side. Like for example, after I cross this right strand under, I don't want to add hair to that right side. I want to make sure that when I'm adding hair, I always bring it under as well and add it to the opposite strand, or you're not going to get that pretty Dutch fishtail look. So you can take bigger strands if you want to. It will make the braid go a little bit faster. Or you can take tiny strands and it will go not quite as fast. Like I said, this is a time consuming braid, but it's really beautiful when you're done. I love doing just a small front section because it's a nice pot, but it's not the whole hair and so it doesn't take quite as long. Now when we get to the bottom of the braid, I'm going to show you how to just do a normal a normal fishtail without adding hair in. So if you need to start um, with a normal uh, fishtail that goes under, that would be the part to watch and practice. So I'm just gonna speed it up here because it gets kind of tedious and like I said, this took us about 15 minutes to do. So as you can see here, I'm adding my last little bit of hair and I have no more hair to add to this fishtail braid. So now I'm just going to take a small strand from one side, add it to the other side, take a small strand from the other side, add it to the left, and you're just simply not adding hair in. You're just taking from the left and adding to the right, and then taking from the right and adding to the left. So I'm gonna do this all the way down until I get to a point where it kind of wraps around to reach to a ponytail. And I'm actually going to be doing a side ponytail so I don't need it to wrap as far around. So I'm just securing her hair in a side ponytail. I'll bring that little Dutch braid and then add it to that ponytail. 
And here's the fun part. This is where you pancake it out. You simply pull the sides of the braid out. It makes it look really cute and full um, and just gives it a little bit more personality. So I just added a bow and then here is one more look at our front Dutch fishtail braid. Um, it's super beautiful and I just love how this looks even though it takes a little bit of time. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe. And right? comment down below which color you is. Comment down below if you liked it. That sounds like a good idea. See you later. Bye. Thanks for watching.